In today's video, we are going to check out the new update. We're going to list everything that is new when it comes to new weapons, the boss fight, and any other changes. If you guys like this video and want to see more update videos in the future for new maps or other maps that will update later on, make sure to drop a like. Let's try to reach 200 likes. Also, if it is your first time here, I would really appreciate if you guys subscribe. Today, we're going to roll another mythical giveaway. If you guys want to enter this giveaway, make sure that you have liked, subscribed, and comment something below. And the mythical is going to be a Firefly Kitsune Mask. If you're a channel member, you also have a higher chance of winning this mythical. Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to go to the boss fight. Now, basically what you would need to do is you would need to get yourself a Midnight Key card, which can be found from killing Artemis zombies, or you can also get it from the Fletcher Island airdrop. If you guys want the idea, this is just 51919. You would need to have yourself a gas Mask because it's going to be a dead zone for a little bit. So make sure you have yourself a gas Mask. And just go through one filter is actually more than enough. Make sure that you are actually well equipped in order to fight the boss fight. Because it is actually not really an easy fight. You need to be very well equipped. Have some as much ammo as you can possibly can. Go through where I'm going right now. It's very, very, very simple. Over here, there are a few zombies that you can kill, which will drop dead zone items. Tier 1 dead zone items. So, for example, elite specs. Guns, ammo. This kind of stuff, Nitro. Over here, there's a bunch of more stuff that you can get. You can also get normal precision rounds, assets, armor-piercing magazines. So we can always find this over here. Then over here, head over to this tunnel. Make sure you activate the elevator and then enter. And just wait a little bit until the elevator is closed. I'm probably going to go there and I'm probably just going to get absolutely crushed because I am not equipped at all. And then just wait a little bit. You are out of the dead zone now as well, so you don't really need the gas mask anymore. And he is right over there. I am just going to try to defeat it literally right now to try to show you what you can get from killing this boss. But he is uh, very, very strong. And I am not equipped at all for this fight. As you may see, I'm going to probably die right now. Now, in order to actually kill this boss, there are a few areas that you would need to shoot, which are shown as blue areas. Now, you should just probably try to get a bit closer to it. But he does... Oh, yeah. I'm going to die. It was actually a dead zone. He does shoot radiation all of that. I did not actually know that. And I am dead. But from there, you can get yourself a midnight crate, which is actually pretty large in order to have. I'm just gonna spawn in myself an elise pack. And when you open it, you can get yourself all of these items, which is actually... Uh, pretty insane. You can get horde beacons, you can get all sorts of guns, you will get yourself overdrive fuses, which are used in order to make yourself larger materials, and you get a midnight crate storage, which once you place it, as you may see, it is actually very, very, very large. Now, I do recommend if you're going to do the boss fight, you try not to do it completely alone. It will be much easier if you do it with a friend, but that is basically how it is. Today's video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. Are you guys trying to start your own unturned server and have no clue where to start? Then check out Pine Hosting. Pine Hosting is super easy to learn, the navigation is also very user friendly and not hard at all to learn. All the servers have really high performance with DDoS protection. When I started my own servers, I had no idea how to do anything, but after a few minutes I learned the basics. They have locations all around the globe, the pricing is also very cheap, and they also have a variety of game servers to choose from, including Rust, Arc, and also Minecraft. A really good feature by Pine Hosting is the ability to install plugins and mods just by clicking once. If you have a server with another provider, Pine Hosting can help you move them as well. Make sure to check out Pine Hosting today and use the code LDG for 30% off, and let's get straight into the video. Also around the map, there are various bunkers that you can find, which are not marked on the map. So basically, one of them that I'm going to show you is come over to where this mark is and just keep heading towards the right. You will see a large mountain and just come here and you got yourself a bunker. There are also various caves as well, all on the right side, so just keep exploring this area and you will be able to find them. At the very bottom of the map, over here next to where my mark is, and if you keep heading towards the right, you can also find yourself this pretty cool shipwreck. Currently, you are not able to build inside it, but if in the future you can actually build it and take it over, that would actually be very, very interesting. A bit further up from that shipwreck as well is another bunker that you can actually live in, right behind this little hill. This one is very similar to the other one, except that I think that this one is slightly larger as well. Over here we have another construction area which you can find yourself items for adhesives, get yourself a bunch of oil, basically all construction loads. There's also another safe zone entrance from here as well once you get yourself the safe zone key card. We also do have a variety of new weapons which we are going to discuss right now. 
First things first is we have the Tempest Rifle. This weapon takes marksman magazines, it comes with a dot sight, and takes barrels, sights, and grips. It also comes with a green laser. It has a range of 400 meters, and the damage that it gives is 51 to the head, 33 to the body, and 24 to the arms and to the legs, and it is an auto or a semi. Its rate of fire is 429 rounds per minute. Next, we have the Intragrat, which is basically a Tech 9. This is a rare weapon, and this weapon can also be used with a baffle kit. It takes SMG magazines and takes barrels and sights. It does have a damage fall of at 10 meters down to 50% and 50 meters. It does have a range of 50 meters as well with a rate of fire at 750 rounds per minute. It gives 21 damage to the head, 17 to the body and 12 to the arms and to the legs. Next we have the Sundor which is a legendary P90. This takes SMG magazines and comes with a barrel, sight and tactical. It does have damage fall of at 10 meters down to 50% and 50 meters and it has a range of 300 meters with a rate of fire at 750 rounds per minute. It gives 21 headshot damage, 17 to the body and 12 to the arms and to the leg. Next we have ourselves the Tri which is a new rocket launcher and this does come with its own rocket next weapon is the frostbite sniper rifle which is a mythical ranged weapon and takes anti-material magazines it comes with five bullets and comes in with an eight time scope this is a heavy weapon meaning that it can raid and it does have 500 meters it gives 168 headshot damage with basically kills full anvil 84 body damage and 63 to the arms and to the legs it does give 100 barricade damage and 100 structure damage as well and you can suppress this with three battle kits. Next weapon we have is the Hera, which is a new grenade launcher. The Hera takes all the grenades like the Hermes and you cannot put any attachments on this weapon. Another addition to the new update is the fact that you can dual wield certain SMGs and pistols, which I am an absolute fan of. For example, if you have two integrates, you can put them as a duel and in one slot you will have dual wielding. And then back you can also separate them as into separate pistols. Another little change is now that the Falcon 50 can also be used as a suppressed weapon by adding a baffle kit. And there are also new vehicles, one of them being the H-46 King's Hand Attack Helicopter. Now basically this helicopter does have two seats. The first one you can shoot rockets. And in the second seat there is a gunner. Which shoots explosive rounds. If you turn on the siren as well, this helicopter does have a special boost which can only be used a few minutes apart. Another vehicle is the Falker Fighter, which is purchased by Blackburn in Safe Zone, which this vehicle basically is perfect for dogfighting. There are also a bunch of new ammunition, which we will not go into detail, stuff like the Weebly, Bayonet, explosive shotgun shells, and much more, and there will be a full update list in the description below. There's also new armor piercing marksman magazines and armor piercing rifle clips, which does raid. Normal marksman magazines that there was before, they do not raid anymore. There's also new armor structures which can be crafted by Overdrive Fuse which you get after defeating the new boss Dave. Now these do have double HP of metal structures. There's also new EOD top and new EOD bottoms where you can make a full EOD suit. And that is it for this video, I really hope that you guys did learn something new. If you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section below. I did not go through everything because there are a lot of new stuff but I will have the full update list in the description below. Let me know what you guys think of this update, let me know if you guys do like the changes and if you have any new favorite features. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye!